Hi, you're watching the news with me. I'm Dipavli Hazra. These are the headlines at the top of 12. Pakistan condemned External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar's remark on Pakistan occupied Kashmir, saying that it is ready to respond to any act of aggression. S. J. Shankar had said that POK was a part of India and New Delhi expects to have physical jurisdiction over it one day. Pakistan called the statement irresponsible and inflammatory and said that this would escalate tensions between the two countries. In a video captured of the incident, Indian troops can be seen successfully thwarting an infiltration attempt by Pakistan's border action team. This infiltration or attempted bat action took place over the 12th and 13th of September and was ably foiled by Indian troops. Army sources say that Pakistan is continuously attempting infiltration and that there were 15 such attempts made in August alone. When asked about the duration of detention for leaders in Jammu and Kashmir, Minister of State Jitendra Singh said that the leaders would be released in less than 18 months, making an apparent reference to the emergency period when leaders of all opposition parties were jailed. Jitendra Singh's statement is the first one by a senior functionary of the union government addressing the duration of detention of Kashmir's leaders. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh said that India would have a $26 billion defence industry by 2025 and the target was to achieve exports of $5 billion in the next five years. He also said that the defence sector had been identified as one of the most prominent sectors under Make in India initiative to realise the $5 trillion economy by 2024. A bipartisan group of 44 influential lawmakers has urged the Trump administration to reinstate India's designation as a beneficiary developing nation under the key GSP trade program. This comes just days ahead of the Howdy Modi event in which Trump confirmed his participation, marking an unprecedented moment in Indo-US relations. The lawmakers are hoping for a potential trade deal between the two countries. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee is set to meet Prime Minister Modi today for what she terms as a courtesy call. This is incidentally the first meeting between Banerjee and the Prime Minister after he took charge of office for the second term. Ahead of the meeting in New Delhi, Mamata Banerjee had a chance encounter with the Prime Minister's wife, Tashoda Ben, at the Kolkata airport. An ISRO panel has finalised conclusions about what happened to the Vikram lander after it lost touch with the Mission Control Centre and made a hard landing on the Moon's surface. ISRO seems to have given up hope to establish a contact with the Chandrayaan-2 lander as less than three days remain before the sun sets over the area where Vikram fell off after a failed landing attempt. Exit polls of the Israel elections show that the results are too close to call. The centrist Blue and White Alliance is projected to win between 32 and 34 seats. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, whose Likud party is set to get 30 to 33 seats. Israel Beitan New Party is projected to be the kingmaker. This snap election was called by Netanyahu after he failed to form a governing coalition in the wake of an election in April. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more updates.